Hello and welcome back to another episode of the 9 2009 season in MotoGP 22. Now today we have a special episode, we have the 6th round of the season which came from Barcelona, Catalonia, Circuit de Barcelona, beautiful track, one of the best in the world. The description says Stoner, Lorenzo and Rossi are fresh off the podium at Jello. Will they dominate their race in Barcelona? Probably. But predicting the name of the winner is impossible and that day it pretty much was. Let's jump into it. I'm excited for this one. There's an Australian on the Italian throne. King Casey of the House of Ducati. After uh, seven wins in a row is, is a pity, but uh, the race was uh, crazy, incredible. Anyway, the podium is better than nothing. The championship is very tight. After the, my crash in the warm-up lap, the race has been like a dream. More, more happy than a victory. The rain and cold are behind them. Hot sun blazes down on Barcelona. Well, the race will be very, very long, uh, especially with this condition and with this temperature. For sure, after five, six laps, all the bike uh, slide and spin everywhere. So it will be a great and a hard fight. Five races down, two wins apiece for Stoner and Lorenzo. Only one for Rossi. Lorenzo has a Barcelona football club helmet for Catalonia. More than Jerez, this is his home race, just across the water from his family in Mallorca. Lorenzo is on pole, but Rossi's time is almost identical. That's how it's going to be this weekend. Same bikes, same lap times, same target. There are 13 corners at the Catalonia circuit. The best passing opportunities are at turn one, turn four, and turn ten. Turn five is possible, but tricky. After turn ten, it's impossible to overtake, unless the rider in front of you makes a mistake or leaves a gap. Three laps to go, heading for turn one at 200 miles an hour. Rossi prepares to make his move. Get him on the brakes into turn one. You know where he'll come back at you. So already we've managed to pass Lorenzo into one. Oh, he's going to take me back though, is he? Let me hold him. Oh, can never, they never show you the objectives early enough, in my opinion. They probably do, I'm just too busy listening to Mark Neal. Just getting it into four. Or five. Four. Ah, uh, end of the first sector, so I've already missed that objective. Gonna just sit him up. Turns across me. We turn it tighter. It's all about the rundown. This is another overtaking spot they didn't mention turn seven. Not a very easy one. TV3 they got it. Up into nine we come. Oh, that's not an overtaking spot, Lorenzo. We get good drive, but we get, oh, he goes defensive. Does that in real life too. Oh, see, old turn 10. Oh, I haven't ridden this layout before a long time. So it's the final lap of the chance, so I need to stay ahead till the line. Oh, front is pushing though. What an iconic race this is. I remember watching this live and losing my absolute shit when Rossi passed him into this corner. I love how in the intro though, they're like, you do not pass in the final corner unless the right in front makes a mistake. Up to line we come. Part one was pretty damn easy. See what we have in store for part two. He's on your back wheel. Don't think. Just go. He really is. We're going to into turn one. He breaks quite early. We absolutely park it into turn one. Job done so far. Oh, final lap again at this channel. So, last three laps of the race is in challenge in each. Mistake there, he's got a good run. 
We should be able to hold them off. Like so. And then Chatter is always into the side of me. I'm going to send it again. Down to first gear. Just make him run touch wide. Into TV3, turn 7 we come. Oh, a bit tight. Oh, the front went. He's going to try it into 9 again. Just back when... Not Pedroza, Lorenzo even had Danese letters, same as Valentino, an Italian brand. Oh, Stoppy into 10, we're in hot. Oh, keep it on though. Square it off, not the right line through. 10, mistake again. Again, we're deep in 11. Oh, Lorenzo, and he's crashed. What a dive bomb from Lorenzo that was. That's, so that's kind of ruined this lap, but anyway. <laughs> He does repass me into turn one. And I can't leave the brakes off this lap around. But we're going to get both challenges done here. After a stupid dive on from AI Lorenzo. But up the line. Another challenge done. Now it's time for the big one. He'll think he's got it. After turn ten. That's what he'll be thinking. What do you think? So I don't know if I'll have the pace to do him in the last corner. Into turn seven. Close, but not close enough. He's usually rapid through nine, so we're gonna take a later apex. See if we can get the run on him. I have to go to the outside. He goes defensive as he did in real life. Can we get the move done in the final corner? That would be something special. Push in. Oh, one turn. Oh, we're lining them up. I don't know if the move is available to do. Oh, I'm on the curb. Sorry, Jorge. Oh, we've done it in the last corner. Not as clean as Valentino did. But it's quite similar. If I didn't touch the curb, that would be pretty much the same move. So I'm pretty happy with that one. That was, oh, what a historic race this was. Just absolutely, the way Valentino managed to pull that move off. And if we, I hope we get a bit of footage, we probably won't now. We'll get into the next episode as they usually show the previous finish in the next episode. But if you do see footage of it, watch how Rossi loses the front on the apex. Not many people see this. You just keep him in the front wheel and his left foot just comes off the peg ever so slightly. The front end has a massive bobble. And uh, he's literally over the limit. And somehow managed to save it. Absolutely incredible. So then, what an amazing weekend that was back in June 2009. Now, I have seen the cutscene for the next episode. And I must say, it's very interesting what it shows off. So, definitely tune in for round 7, which will be Acid. Another very, very special round. But the, the cutscene in between has so much to offer about the 2009 season. But we're going to end it there for today. I hope you have enjoyed. Again, probably a bit of a shorter one since there was only th three laps and three challenges but I uh, can never underestimate how important this race was for the season what it's done to their relationship Lorenzo's come out in recent times said he was Rossi demor demoralised him he was uh, embarrassed over it there was so much going on it was what a, what a race his 99th victory on the 99's home turf the last corner of the Spanish Grand oh say it no more what an absolute genius overtake but anyway i'm gonna end it there hope you have enjoyed today's video if you have drop a like down below and i should catch y'all in the not so distant future thanks for watching bye bye